right there. So I was like, Okay, what the heck is happening? This is one of my favorite cleansers and I'm a cosmetic chemist and I had to do a little bit of investigating. I immediately ran to my shower because I had this product in my shower and I did not see the same ring of brown or any growth in the straw itself, but my friend texted me and hers had it, so I told her to give it to me. I'm not a microbiologist, so I can't test for micro in my lab, but I can do some experiments to hypothesize what is going on. So the first test that I ran was the smell test. Mine smelled different than my friends and I thought I would smell maybe a little bit of a metallic-y scent because it could be rust but it did not smell metallic -y to me. So that test is inconclusive and my second test was to test the pH. If my friend's bottle had a lower pH than my bottle then I would suspect bacterial growth because the pH drifted and the preservative could be not as effective and also bacteria likes to favor a lower pH. This is a pH of my friend's bottle 5.68. Not too bad. And this is my bottle, 5.91. I would say the two aren't too far off. Okay, so still inconclusive, but then my third test was to look at the ingredient list and see what preservative they were actually using. And this is where I realized the two ingredient lists are different. The ingredient list of my friend's bottle has a very weak preservative and it's not a preservative that I would choose personally. And this preservative needs to be above a pH of six to be even somewhat effective. And as we saw earlier, it was definitely under six. My bottle on the other hand had a longer ingredient list and I was wondering what made this list longer and it's because they added preservative boosters. Bingo. So now here's my theory. While I can't say for sure that my friend's bottle had mold growth, I do think La Roche-Posay did see a micro issue on the horizon and they wanted to course correct as quickly as possible by adding some preservative boosters and some chelating agents to this formula to protect it. I also wanna give La Roche-Posay the benefit of the doubt here that if they did see a serious micro issue, they would have pulled this off the shelf and did a recall. From just reading the ingredient list, I can tell that the brand has been looking into this for a while and they obviously course corrected. Let this be a lesson, preservatives are important. And the reason why they're important is because it protects you, your face, your skin, and everything else. Preservative free is not a flex, so please do not fear monger preservatives. Hope you learned something new.